seriously, if I'm not careful, this is going to look like I am naked whilst filming this. Hey guys, so I do actually have a second haul video for you guys that I filmed on the same day as my last haul and if you do remember my last haul or if you haven't seen it, I will leave a link for it down below. Hashtag plug. But I did forget to write down the prices of everything that I bought and throughout the receipt so if you want to know the prices of anything, there will be a list down in the description just underneath all my social media links if you want to go follow me on there while you're at it. So this time I do actually have a makeup sort of beauty haul. Well I mean half of it's sort of makeup, half of it's like just beauty related products so I thought I'd put this in one haul because it's a little bit easier doing it that way. Some of this stuff I have tried out a couple of times. I am actually wearing a couple of things from it now. And yeah, some of it might be coming up in videos soon. So yeah, if you do like these types of videos, as I've said before, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There are actually quite a few new people considering I have been away for what, two months? So welcome if you are new, I'm Tan. Hi, how are you going? That's good, I'm happy. I'm an absolute idiot when I drink Red Bull, that's why I don't drink it anymore. I'm literally trying to mass film today, so I've been drinking this and yeah, this is not a good idea. So yeah, let's get on with the video before I say any more weird things. Even though I'm gonna say weird things throughout the entire video because I'm a weird person. Okay, I'm going to start with something that's new but not so new because I use it all the time. I've actually got it on right now but it's kind of wearing off. It is the Bondi Sands Self Tanning Mousse. This one is in just dark. I did consider getting the ultra dark one. I'm not quite sure how like dark the ultra dark one actually is. This one is decently dark when you put it on and like leave it on overnight. Especially if you do what we do for dance comps and we put on a couple of layers on it, it goes very, very dark. If you have used the Ultra Dark, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the difference between the two, because I am actually considering getting it, but I would like to know other people's opinions before I do buy it. But when I bought this, I also noticed Bondi Sands now do a self tan eraser. I've never seen anyone really use this except like on Facebook when they're like advertising it. Don't always 100% trust the advertising thing so I thought I might actually do a first impression myself. What do you guys think? Should I do a first impression? Hmm. I'm kind of thinking I should just so you guys can sort of get an idea of what it's like. I also picked up some more of the Ardell lashes. I grabbed the wispy ones in black. I haven't used just the plain wispy. I've used the demi wispy, which I quite like. These ones seem to be a bit more full all through the lash, whereas the demi ones are a little bit more natural looking. Let's see what these ones are like. They look very similar to a pair that I use from Socialize, which I have been meaning to do another order on. And I actually grabbed a set of individual ones. I have used the individual lashes before. These ones are a little bit different to the ones I have used. Haven't used them on myself, I've used them on my sister. I found them quite easy to actually put on someone else. So I'm gonna see how I go using them on myself. They looked a lot better on her than a just a false lash, like these type of false lashes. So wonder if these ones will look a little bit nicer on me, especially for things like weddings and that. See how they go. Hopefully I like them. Comes with a lash adhesive and remover. Don't know which one's which, and a pair of tweezers. Actually, those tweezers look like they might come in handy. I usually just end up using my fingers because I'm lazy, but yeah, I probably won't use those two. I usually just use like a uh, makeup, like eye makeup remover for getting them off, and I use my own lash glue, so yeah. Might try them, probably won't. They'll probably end up in the bin. I also grabbed, I've heard a lot of people talk about this, sorry, that light was glaring really badly on that. It is the NYX Highlight Contour Pro Palette. It's got like your four highlighter shades up the top and four contour shades down the bottom. I haven't had the chance to use this that much yet. I just thought it would be good because I do have a tendency to do like some of my friends and my family's makeup and that. 
and I only really got a small amount of like different types of bronzers. I've usually got bronzers just for me. This one's got a few more in it than the palette that I have from Sports Girl, so hopefully this one will be quite good. As I said, I haven't had the chance to really use it. I did take it to my cousin's wedding, but because I'd only just bought it, I didn't actually use it because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I just used my normal bronzer that I always use myself because I was scared. And I know how that one works. So yeah, let's see how this goes. A lot of people rave on about it, so hopefully it does it justice. It wasn't that expensive though, so it's not like I was spending a hundred bucks on a contour palette and hated it. I did however buy a more expensive contour and highlighting kit. This one is from Too Faced. It's the Kakoa Contour Just to Perfection. It comes in this cute little box here. It's got like a mirror up the top. It does have a brush in it but I haven't actually used the brush. And it has a sort of these two colours are more like your highlighting type, whoops, sorry, more like highlighter type shades and then two sort of contoury bronzy type shades. I've only really used this one up here, Medium Cocoa, which I've used to actually contour with today as well as my, where is it, the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. I have used this highlighter down the bottom here before, it's called Pop of Light. It is quite nice actually. It's a little more subtle than like the Becca highlighters and that. So a lot of people might prefer that. I usually like quite a bright highlighter personally. But yeah, I thought this was a cute little sort of like box of goodies for me. I do like contour and highlighting shades. And just like the eyeshadow palettes, this actually smells like chocolate. It's great. I love stuff that has scents to it as well. It just makes it like that bit extra special and more fun to play with. And these are quite pigmented, so you don't really need to use much, just like the eyeshadows. Too Faced was probably my favourite higher-end brand. Oh, higher-end? Does it classify as higher-end? Yeah, it would classify as higher-end. Don't get me on technical stuff, because I'm not good at that type of stuff. While I'm on to the stuff that I got from Mecca, I did actually grab one of the Steeler, what are they, the Magnificent Metals. This one is in the Rose Gold Retro. I have it on my eyes right now. I just moved my lash really bad then. It's going to muck up my lashes. These things are so easy to use. I literally just like put it on my eye and then just like move it around my finger. And then I just kind of like blend out the edges with whatever I'm using in my crease. Simple, easy, effective. They're great. Went to get more, they sold out. So I'm waiting for them to hurry up and come back at Mecca. When they do, I'm going to be buying a couple more different shades in them. I also picked up the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I have been obsessed with. I wasn't going to use it until after I filmed this video, but I couldn't help myself. It smells like coconut. It smells delicious. It feels amazing, especially with the fact that I've got quite dry skin at the moment because it's like middle of winter for us. But it was 30 degrees the other day. I have heard a few people raving on about this, I thought I'd try it for myself. It really is great and worth it. It looks like it's something you're going to be squeezing out. It's not. It has a pump. It's great. You don't need very much at all. A little goes a long way with it. And I do love using this with my professional over top, that is. So yeah, this is great. Makes my skin feel great and it smells amazing. This might actually take over being my favourite primer over my Napoleon Purtis one. That's saying a lot. Ugh. I also picked up two of the Melted Mattes from Too Faced. This one is in Evil Twin and this one is in Jawbreaker. I don't own colours like this. This one, it's almost like a really, really deep brown to almost black colour and this one is such like a vibrant lilac colour when it comes out. They're amazingly coloured. I haven't used them yet. I don't know what I'm going to do in the way of like another eye makeup and whatnot look with them. If you know anything, feel free yet again. Leave comments down below what I can do with it or tweet me a picture of something that was similar and I will see what I can do with them. I just thought that was something cool to put in my makeup collection instead of just like normal nudes or pinks that I normally wear all the time. I also picked up from Target two of the Chi Chi 
what are they? They're metallic foiled eyeshadows. These are quite pigmented and quite nice. I did use the, what was it, it was a rose gold one? I think I used for my cousin's wedding. They come out really, really creamy. And I did actually put a tiny little bit of another glitter over top to really emphasize the glitter when I wore it. I didn't apply them with a brush. I just used my finger to put them on. It was easier to do it that way. The brush didn't seem to go very well with them. I haven't really had a chance to play with Pink Nude yet. I mean, they, they pretty much look the exact same. It's just one's got more like a goldy tint to it, obviously. But yeah, they're quite good. These are the two colours that I picked. They do have an, like a big range of them. Well, not too big, but a big range, if that makes sense. I make no sense right now. I also picked up one of Zoe's little moisturisers. This one is the Double Creme. It's from... Now, which one was this from? Is this the Sweet Inspirations range, I think it's from? I can't remember which range this is from. I, Target has like a whole different mixture of her ranges, so you can't actually tell which range is which one, which is really annoying. I love her other one that I have. I've pretty much used it all up, so I thought I'd grab this one. You don't need much of her moisturizers, so yeah, the Zoella Beauty range is quite good and very affordable, which I was very, very happy about when I first bought it. I also picked up an Argan Oil for my hair. I do have a small one of this which I bought when I was in London which I've nearly finished. I grabbed one now that's a bit bigger and it has a pump bottle in it, like a pump lid. The other one I have, you just kind of like pour it out into your hand. I thought I'd buy it to pop into my suitcase because I do like to take like a hair oil away with me. My hair always goes gross whenever I'm away so I always make sure I take some good stuff to like fix it up with while I'm away. I quite like argan oils, they smell nice. You don't need much of it, and yeah, this one is actually decently priced. Let's grab it from Kmart. I also grabbed a new one of the Models Prefer Brush Cleaners. I have the e.l.f. one, and I'm using the e.l.f. one at the moment. It's not as good, so I've gone back to the trusty Models Prefer one that I always use. It gets my brushes cleaner in less amount of sprays than what the e.l.f. one does. So, yeah, I'm just going to stick to my Paul's Prefer one unless you can think of another one that would be quite good. I bought my sister one. These are cheap. I do recommend having some form of a brush cleanser or cleaner or something to stop any bacteria and that from getting into your eyes or on your face. It's the last thing you want from your brushes. It's also handy if you do other people's makeup because then you can clean your brushes before doing their makeup and then after they're doing their makeup. Just makes it easier and more sanitary. And last thing I have are these e.l.f. brush cleanser wipes. Hopefully it's better than the cleanser that I have in the spray bottle. They're literally individual wipes. I'm not going to actually open the packet because I don't want to waste it. They're just in like a little sealed packet. I'm assuming you literally just open it and wipe your brushes. Directions. Take a brush and using a back and forth motion or circuit motion, can clean brushes will wipe. So it's essentially what you're doing when you spray it and then you're using like a piece of paper towel or a like towel, just like a normal towel, which is what I use. But they're in individual packets, probably good for if you're on the go or traveling, which I tend to do. So yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. They were cheap. Let's see how they go. And yeah, that's all I have for this little like random beauty sort of haul. As I said before, if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you do like these types of videos and I will do more of them. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!